Hello everyone and welcome to New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Continuing with the 3Play 3P2, I'd like to show you a very helpful tool in controlling your playback speeds on your 3Play with the help of macros. Now, if you haven't played around with macros, I highly recommend it because they are a way for you to execute a series of tasks and then just play them back with a touch of a button. In this video, I'd like to show you a specific and very helpful macro that is a game changer for 3Play operators, and it allows you to play back clips at a default speed without having to use the speed controls on your control panel with a very simple and easy to use technique. So, let me show you how it's done, son. All right, so here we are in the 3Play 3P2 interface, and I want to show you how to manipulate your speed of your clip playback on the A clip list. So let's go ahead and select A for our output and clip list here. All right, and I already have a clip queued up, and before I hit play, just bring your eye to the screen here, right where it says 0%. Uh, I'm going to hit play, and that's going to say 100%. And that's just the default speed of playing that particular clip out, right? Now, in previous videos, I've also shown how you can use the T-bar or the jog wheel to manipulate the speed of your clips when you play them back. So just real quick, uh, I'm going to use my T-bar here in its uh, gas pedal mode. So I have 0% at the bottom, 100% at the top. And as soon as I push it forward, that clip will start to play. So let's go ahead and do that and try to get it to about 50%, okay? So let's do that. Let's go ramp it up. Right there. All right, there's about 50%. Cool. And there's our play. Awesome. All right, now with the thing with that though is it, it, sometimes you're not, you, you might not be accurate going all the way up to 50% and it goes from 0 to 50, so you have to amp it up at that. So if you wanted to play back that particular clip at say 50% or 40%, you would need to create a macro to do that. And now let me show you how. All right, so pretty simple. Uh, macros are a way for you to record uh, like complex actions on the three play and then just play those actions back with a touch of a button. So let's go up to the top of the screen and click on macros and then configure macros. And then I'll go to session macros here. And now let me create a new one and I'll just title this speed playback. All right, and from here, let's go ahead and edit the uh, commands within that macro by clicking on edit and here's where we're going to go to start to type things in. Now this is a game changer for three play operators. It's pretty simple but uh, there are a few little steps here. So uh, for the first shortcut we're going to type in play and the value true so that will play our clip and then also uh, the next thing we're going to need to put in here is going to be play dash speed. All right, and then the next value, that's where you can get creative with this. As uh, I'm, I'm going to put in 50% for the time being, so just 50. All right, and from here, let's just go ahead and play that macro by clicking this play button, but also keep an eye on the percentage right here underneath the A output. So let's go ahead and do that, and let's play that clip, and you'll see now that that has changed to 50%, which is going to mimic what I have here on my macro. All right, now you can edit this, put whatever you want. So let's put it to 30, all right? And then let's hit play on that macro again. And now it's playing back that same clip at 30% speed. So yeah, you get the idea, pretty cool, right? All right, so from here with, uh, with macros, I mean, going in and hitting the play button here in the macro editor while you're in the middle of your show can, you know, that's gonna throw you off. I don't even recommend doing that. So the macro editor allows you to use an external trigger for these different macros. You can use anything from your typing keyboard to a launch pad to a stream deck. Uh, there's a whole bunch of other different methods to do this. But for today's example, I'm gonna just use my typing keyboard. So I'll go into external triggers and I have four different triggers that I can use. I'm gonna click on number one first and you'll see that it's now saying that it's listening for a command from me. So I will, I'm just gonna use the A letter on my typing keyboard here. Boom. Now, whenever I press the A button, that will trigger that macro to fire off uh, uh, my clip at 30%. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll type A and there's that clip right at 30%, just like I intended. All right, pretty cool. Cool, let's go ahead and stop that. And so that's how you would do that within the 
uh, clip list. Now you can do a whole bunch of different macros in there, have one that's set up for 50%, one that's set to 40, 30, make, make as many macros as you want. All right, uh, but now let me show you how to do that exact same method in the playlist mode. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add this clip to my playlist and I'm gonna put my A output into playlist mode and that's the same clip. So I'm gonna hit play again and you'll see at the top here, it still says 100%, okay? Now uh, I wanted to show you something in here just to get you aware of this. Uh, you can also alter the speed of your playlist clips down here at the bottom. So you'll see here that I have, it says uh, 100%. Now, when I, I'm gonna uh, change that value in there, but before I do that, I wanna let you know that the global play speed at the top is gonna be 100%, and then you can have this clip drop down or go up as much as you want. So I'm gonna type in 50 here. So now the speed of that clip will be at 50%. So I'm gonna hit play, and when I do that, you'll see that it still says 100% up here at the top because that's the global value, but it's playing at half speed because that's what I determined the speed would be for that particular clip here in my playlist. All right, now let's do that same thing, but this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the macro back. So the macro I currently have set to 30% globally, so that will alter the speed up here at the top, but then it's gonna be 30% of 50%. So it'll be 15% when I play this back, all right? So let's go ahead and do that. I'll Press A and then keep your eye right here. So that's playing at 30%, but that's at 50%, making this 15. Okay, cool. So just a little caveat in there to just be aware of. And what I recommend doing is just getting in here, play around with it a little bit, and as usual, have some fun. So a simple and effective tip to help you play back your clips and playlists exactly the way you want. Now, if you like this tutorial video, let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to the New Tech YouTube channel at youtube.com slash newtechinc. And for formal New Tech product training, check out New Tech University at newtech.com slash newtech u. You can also find out more about New Tech products and services by contacting your local, uh, your local reseller or visit newtech.com. And you can even check out uh, our products and services by signing up for a free new tech product demonstration in the comfort of your own home at newtech.com slash demo. And if you're posting your work on social media using new tech products, tag us using the hashtags new tech, TriCaster, or 3Play. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for another episode of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.